Christianity is full of all kinds of verbal nouns. They're nouns, but they relate to action. One of the most important is the word conversion in Acts 3.19. It says, repent and be converted that your sins might be blotted out. I want to talk a little bit about conversion. I'm Dr. Rick Durst, and I teach Christian theology at Golden Gate Baptist Seminary. And these two videos are on conversion. Now, when Jesus talked about conversion, he used an agricultural metaphor. The gospel is a seed, and it goes in, and it gets implanted in the soil of a soul. The sun comes out, the plant grows up, but because it doesn't have enough roots, it dies. Lots of conversions don't take. In a second case, the seed goes in, the plant takes hold, it grows up, the roots try to go down, but there's a rock that prevents the roots from going deep. Again, same result, conversion doesn't take. But the third one, the seed goes in, the roots go down, the plant goes up, the sun comes out, and it blossoms, conversion. I wanna talk about true conversion and false conversion. Actually, the Bible says there are two kinds of false conversion. Turning back from God, Galatians 4.9, is a false conversion. It's a repentance in the wrong direction. And bargaining with God is a false conversion. Trying to make a deal with God for your salvation. Salvation is a free gift. It comes to us by surrender. It comes by authentic conversion. 2 Corinthians 5.17 says, if any person is in Christ, they're a new creation. All things become new. And here are four kinds of things that become new. The first kind of true conversion doesn't sound very true. It's called limited conversion. This person has come to faith, but they're still dependent on others for decision making. They're rather indecisive. James uh, 1.6 talks about them being unstable in their conversion. The second kind is restricted conversion. They've changed, but only in a specific area. Sometimes that happens to people who are coming out of addiction. They've stopped drinking, but they're as arrogant and as mean as ever. So they're sometimes called dry drunks. A third kind of real conversion is social conversion. And this is the person whose the roots have gone down deep enough that they have a new way of treating others. It sometimes is called social conversion. Now there's a fourth level, comprehensive. That's when the conversion is total and deep and comprehensive. Now in the second video on conversion, I want to talk about Paul Hebert's idea of three levels of conversion and what happens when we don't go to the deepest level. Did you ever consider that when Jesus gave the Great Commission, he didn't say go to the nations and convert them. He said go to the nations and make disciples. Why disciples? Why not merely conversion? Watch the next video and you'll find out.